Walt Disney's Marceline Part 2. This was the evening event. This was a ticketed event, and Mickey and Minnie came to surprise us with some meet and greets. They had seen us dancing earlier and wanted to tell us all about it, and I'm honestly still not over it. I am literally like a kid on Christmas morning. It was... I don't know how they do it there. They just make it so special. These are our amazing camera guys. And Tracy, friend of the channel, came to the evening event. We headed over to the speakeasy and had to give them the password to be let in. The Citizen Speakeasy was a VIP lounge that we were lucky enough to have access to. This was a really cool spot for us because we got to pick out some of the appetizers for this event as well as meet with Tess who furnished it as well. So she did the bar, the appetizers, and all of the seating. It was just a really comfortable place to sit down and relax. I loved the furniture that Tess brought for this. It was so classy, so fun, and honestly, what a vibe to just sit and enjoy time with friends. It was a good time. After relaxing in the VIP lounge for a while, we headed out to the barn. So this whole event was taking place on the field right outside of Walt's childhood home. Right down the hill from that is his childhood barn. Now this barn is a public place you can visit. You can sign on the inside of the barn. Um, but because this was an event, there was two new beams going in, so we had to sign our names. We headed back up the hill toward the tents and saw that Donald and Goofy were doing a meet and greet, so we had to go hang out with them, and they also <laughs> knew that we had taught a dance class earlier that day, so they wanted to show us their dance moves. So we had to get a picture with them before they headed back in. We headed back up to the main tent. There was live music, appetizers going around, these really cool table pieces of time, Disney time pieces. Um, both characters and anything that relates to time. David Vaughn was presenting and he introduced Kay. She is the executive director of the Walt Disney Hometown Museum and she is a literal queen. And then he introduced Marcy Smothers. Now Marcy Smothers wrote a book, Eat Like Walt, and she did a bunch of historical research into how Walt ate. And this menu now, it looks on the surface pretty basic. It was fried chicken, bread, mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans, some of your more basic staples. But hearing her talk about her research and why Walt ate the way that he did, based on his experience here in Marceline, was really touching. Also, this was really fun, but we toasted toast. Apparently, it was a thing Walt did. And he also ate his toast upside down, which was really interesting. They had all these games set up outside, which we that was really fun. So we went out and played some games with Roy and Jed. They're not really pictured much here, but they were our camera guys that came out for the day to help us out, which was such a blessing. We were also so blessed with this sunset and this group of friends that came. These influencers are from Orlando and LA, and we all got to stay in a cabin together, and it was just a really good weekend. Brent Iwan gave a speech after dinner and he talked through kind of his story or his journey to becoming the voice of Mickey Mouse. Although we were social media friends, it was so fun to get to know him over the weekend, but I had never heard this story before and it was such a powerful story of following your dreams and just persistence. As the sun set, we all exited the tent and went over by the lake to watch some fireworks. Now these Kiss Goodnight fireworks were pretty spectacular. I really enjoyed just standing here and enjoying Marceline with this wonderful group of people that just want to preserve the legacy of Walt. We are so thankful to be a part of such a wonderful community, both the community of Marceline, the Friends, Citizen, the Hometown Museum, that are all dedicated to preserving the legacy of Walt. Thanks for coming along on this journey and uh, keep Walt's legacy alive. That's all for today. Don't die, K-bye.